This is terrifying. <laughs> today but I think today is the last one and yeah, we got a busy day planned first things first I've got about uh, one two three four five uh, maybe about seven trees to take out of here and my road back to the meadow will at least be tied into the trail here so we're gonna get all this cleaned up I think I'll start off by limbing out this maple right here. Cut it off the stump. I got a dead cherry right there, another little maple. I'll take those down. And we're gonna get this all cleaned up over to the trail, like I said, and we're gonna have a drag race between Archie and Axel. And this will be a pretty good racetrack for him. Now, Melissa, she claims that Axel is faster than Archie, but I don't think so. Archie's pretty lean. He is. You know, his nickname is Slim Jim, where Axel is pork chop. But Axel's pretty strong. He's a big dog, big strong dog. We'll just have to see. So I've got a very nice straight shot the whole way down to the meadow there. But this cherry right here, this little one, it's dead. That one there is kind of wonky. That one's going to go. That nice oak will stay. And it'll keep me a nice straight line coming up through here. So I think I'll uh, fire up the excavator, move it out of the way, and fire up the saw. We're not gonna take too many down and make a big mess. We'll kind of clean up as we go. I left both the excavator and skid loader out here, but I'm gonna take them into the yard later today. Yeah, it's 100% chance of rain tomorrow.
All right, I have a straight shot all the way back to the meadow. It's just perfect. Came up better than what I had envisioned. The nicest part is it just kind of worked out. You know what I mean? The nicer oak trees are on both sides. Mostly what I took out were some scraggly maples and some cherries. There were a few oaks, but the bigger ones are on both sides, kind of in a line. I think it'll look really good. Now I should have started with this first oak stump because I've been cruising along here and these things just take forever. I mean, they are tight. Even that last maple that I took out, you know, you bust a few roots here and there and uh, it comes right out. But these oaks are brutal. They really are. I think Melissa's gonna come out in a bit. She hasn't been out here for a while. I think she's gonna be uh, pleasantly surprised. All right, here comes Melissa. Now you haven't been out here, have you? No. You haven't seen the new trail. Nope. It's actually more of a road. It's not okay. really a trail. <laughs> okay, it's like the turnpike. Yeah, someone commented the other day, is, is there gonna be a toll booth on it? Because mm. we're from Pennsylvania, you know what I mean? I know, Taxylvania, yeah. Taxylvania. We'll have to think of that for a long gate. Well, I was gonna tell you to close your eyes, but you'd fall in a hole or something. You can walk out here past okay. the excavator. Okay. I got one big stump here to get out. That's what I'm working on now. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ah. Looks different, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It sure does. You like wow. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> it turned into, uh, you know, when you're down there, and you're looking this way like ah, a few trees here a few trees there uh -huh. you know what i mean but to get a road back there you gotta yeah so what i'm going to do next i'm going to get this stump out here and then i'll get the skid loader and i'll rake everything out of here we're not gonna you know move any dirt until spring okay. you know we'll let these stump holes settle all that kind of stuff and then uh then we can build a regular road back there okay but this afternoon once I get this cleaned up, the dogs are going to have a race because you think Axel is faster than Archie. Yeah. He's not. Archie's Archie's quick. Like He's fast. Quick. He's like a... But, yeah, I think Axel's faster. That's okay. Axel's younger. All right. Anything else happening in the world, Melissa? Yeah. Um, about three or four days ago, I was holding my laptop oh boy here we go so picture the laptop flat out on my hands like this okay well that's not the way it was so then you hold it on its side okay i was holding it on the side so it's up like this it's a thin laptop and from this height i seriously dropped it on my pinky toe and literally on the corner like the oh my gosh i the, totally thought my pinky toe was gonna be gone lit, like yeah cut off so my foot's all black and blue and sore. <laughs> I think your toe's broken. I do think my toe's broken because my toes, I don't know about the rest of you, like our daughter Hannah hates feet, hates talking about feet. So if this is grossing you out, I'm sorry. But my toes are like fingers. I can move all my toes. <laughs> They're long. I can pick things up with my toes. It's kind of creepy. But um, yeah, my pinky toe is not moving. It's just it's swollen black and blue the rest of my foot's black and blue i don't think they can do much for broken toes. no i don't think they can either so here i am i'm wearing like i'm fine like in a supported shoe it's just like i worked out this morning and like some things yeah i'm like ow that hurts but it's getting better yeah i had to tell myself that <laughs> well sorry about your toe thanks after a little recovery you can come out here and run on my bare feet yeah all right, I'm going to get back. What are back. you putting down? Like, I heard you say you're going to wait till spring. And what is your... Yeah, your, we tell will... Tell me now. Well, it depends... Are you paving it? Why don't you get into paving instead of... It's going to depend like on what we do back there, which we're still not sure. You know what I mean? But okay. we're going to have a good road, so... Okay. I don't doubt that. Yeah. It's kind of up in the air, the plans, but <laughs> we're weighing all our options. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to get back to work. You know what, I was just telling Melissa, I think I'm actually gonna get a jug of fuel and put in the excavator. It's getting kind of low. 
Uh, it's not too bad, but when you get leaning on these hills and stuff, I don't want to run out, and I don't feel like running it all the way back over to the fuel tank. Nah, yeah, I'm just going to get a jug put in it, and then when I'm done, I'll fill it all up and grease it again. Yeah. Did the dog see you come out here? They did. I was going to go out the garage and then back around the house, so that always throws them off. But Archie always checks out that living room window, though, even when you do that, just to see if you're up to something or not. Which way? Oh, yeah. And the poor Amazon guy came the other day, and Archie was like, Cujo. <laughs> just barking, barking. Deep, deep bark. I'm like, what? I think the time change has him thrown off, too. You know what else we can do here, Melissa? We can put in at least a... We could almost do a 300-yard range here. You know ah, what I mean? Ah, I like that. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just have a backstop. You can't see with this little camera. We'll drive out through there later today when we get this all cleaned up. But, you know, on one side, you know, we could put a bench over here on the left like we have back there. And on the other side, mm -hmm. build a little backstop down there. And uh, this is the longest, the straightest shot we have on the property here to be able to see anywhere. I guess so. You know what I mean? Where else is there? It's all trees. All right, I just put a jug of fuel in the excavator, but this thing, it just sips the fuel. Compared to the skid loader now, it likes its fuel. This thing here, though, man, it'll run a long time. But anyway, I'm going to get on the low side of this stump, dig out on the other side, this side, see if we can't get this out of here. skid loader it's sitting out here in the field and what I'm gonna do this area from here out isn't too bad but going back that way I just kind of need to rake everything up and we'll be good I got firewood laying everywhere over here over here out there to the right, over by the mini cabin. But even this winter, you know, when it's frozen or whatever, you can come back here and cut.
right. I got it raked up, you know, halfway decent. Not too shabby. I just talked to Melissa on the phone. She's gonna bring Archie and Axel out. And they're gonna have a little race. They love running hard. I'll get down to the other end here. Maybe not all the way. She'll bring them up here somewhere and I'll call them. It'll be about a 200 yard sprint. We'll put a camera right here for the finish line. Archie, Axel, Arch, Axel, come on boy, come on. This is terrifying. <laughs> All right, I think we need to do best out of three, Melissa. Oh, stop. Archie was holding back. I could tell he wasn't running as hard. He's just not as fast. He's good at other things. Axel. And uh, Axel, he's fast and not good at a lot of other things. <laughs> at most other things. Just not yet. Another year. Another year. Oh, see, Archie had to pee. That's what the holdup was. Yeah, right.
right, I'm out here at the field by the mini cabin. That's starting to come in pretty good over there. I planted that about uh, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, something like that. But the deer have been eating this as fast as it has been growing. Uh, I'm looking forward to this winter, making this bigger. I'm gonna go that way by another 50, 75 feet, that direction. We'll get it all cleaned up, all these firewood poles, get all that stuff cut up. And then first thing in the spring, We'll come in here and till this all up and plant something really good for the uh, summer. Might even make it big enough to put a few fruit trees. Not right down the middle or anything, but maybe kind of on one side or the other. We'll figure all that out. But I have had a very busy morning because it's going to rain. And it's going to rain pretty hard about noon. I moved some firewood baskets around. I got the uh, made a firewood delivery. And I just came out here to this new road that I have coming back to this field. I just wanted to uh, smooth it up a little bit and track it in some uh, so it will shed water. And uh, I'm ready for the rain. And tomorrow, Saturday, looks like it's going to be a decent day. Sunday looks okay. Monday, I'll be down in West Virginia deer hunting down there. Thursday's Thanksgiving. Yeah, pretty excited. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. I appreciate y'all being here, and I will catch you on the next one.